messages span 23 years. I play from the beginning. You don't believe we went to the moon? I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted themselves, pouring resources into rockets and other useless machines. Useless machines? And if we don't want a repeat of the excess and wastefulness of the 20th century, then we need to teach our kids about this planet, not tales of leaving it. You're a well-educated man, Coop, and a trained pilot. And an engineer. Okay, well, right now, we don't need more engineers. We didn't run out of television screens and planes. We ran out of food. Cooper, you were good at something, and you never got a chance to do anything with it. I'm sorry. It's like we've forgotten who we are now. Explorers. Pioneers, not caretakers. This world was never enough for you, was it, Coop? You're the one who doesn't belong. Born 40 years too late or 40 years too early. Well, because heading out there, I feel like I was born to do. But something sent you here. They chose you. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now you need to tell me what your plan is to save the world. Now you just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. We farmers, we sit here every year when the rains fail and we say, next year I'm gonna work Nelson's farm and I'll make it up. Well, next year ain't gonna save us, nor the one after that. This world's a treasure, Donald. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. Mankind was born on Earth. It was never meant to die here. How long have you gone? Hard to know. Main engine ignition in three. I've got kids, Professor. Two. Get out there. One. And save them. Stepping out into the universe, we must confront the reality of interstellar travel. We must reach far beyond our own lifespan. We must think not as individuals, but as a species. My daughter is 10 years old. Couldn't teach her Einstein's theories or anything like that. Couldn't you have told her you were going to save the world? You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. Or we'll find a way. But we always have. Cooper, it's not possible. No. It's necessary. What is the last thing you're gonna face before you die? Let's get back here now! The children. We're not gonna make it! Yes, you are. I'm not prepared for this. Well, we got this far in our brains, farther than any human in history. Well, not far enough. At the moment of death, your mind's gonna push a little bit harder to survive. For them. Initiating spin! <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm more afraid of. God damn it! Them are coming back. Coming back to find me. Fire. Do you have an idea? Feeling. Make him stay, Murph. Do not. Go gentle into that good night. Don't let me leave, Murph. Old age should burn and rain close of day. Don't let me leave, Murph. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. It's you. So listen to me when I say that love isn't something we invented. Observable, powerful. Maybe it means something more. Something we can't yet understand. I love you forever. And I'm coming back. I call it a 
wanted a ghost because it felt felt like a person. He was trying to tell me something. Nobody believed me. But I knew he had come back. How? Yeah. Because my dad promised me. No, I'm an old physicist. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of time.